Hello, and welcome back to part three of The Outer Worlds. Worlds, not wilds, worlds. Worlds. Anyways, today our adventure will hopefully get us off of Edgewater. I'm not positive yet, but we'll see. Um, looks like we're level six right now. <clears throat> and last time we played, we made it to this laggy little, like, 20 frames per second town. Um, on the side of Edgewater, where all the Persistence people are. Um, that decided, like, we don't want to listen to you guys anymore. And they give us some new quests. So, namely, we have a quest to go and get back a kindred spirit. I forgot her actual name. Um, what was her name again? Zoe. Zoe. And we have another mission to find a book, which is in the cannery, apparently, in a, in a room that was unused. So we're going to go do those before we do the main quest, because I kind of want to... Oh, I like doing side quests. I don't mind them. I think they're fun to do in these types of games, so... And they haven't really burned me out or anything, so that's always good, right? But yeah, the game should run better when we get outside of town. I don't know why, it's just like, it gets real bad when we're here. Now, I know we missed Monday. I have gotten a cold. Pretty rare for me to get sick, honestly. I haven't gotten sick in like three years, because I don't really... Go out in public and do things a lot, so... We all try to talk a little bit less to preserve our voice. Ooh, the ammo that we missed earlier. Yeah. Um, we might make this a bit of a short stream. I just figured we'd get something to do for a little bit. All oh, right, we came from here. That's right. So everything should already be dead from last time. But we shouldn't have to worry about any threats. And apparently we're going to find loot that we missed. Interesting. Now, I remember last time I was, I was talking about, like, picking up less garbage. We might do that. Now, I am curious if we need to stay away from that area because it groans. We need to be careful because the enemies here might have respawned for the sake of the quest that we are now on. And we need to be careful for mines. Now, I don't know if there are any coming from this direction, but there were landmines here before. See what I mean? So, we'll want to go slowly. Now, this game is just not running very well for us lately. It's only in these areas that are like 3D. Well, lots of buildings and stuff, I should say. 3D. Through. What I wouldn't do for a Wentworth. Alrighty, now. We got Zoe. I've been sent to find Why? you. Why? Adelaide wants me back on garden duty or something? Thanks, but I'm not going anywhere. This is where I belong. Does she realize that we murdered every bandit that she came to visit? Seven told me about your favorite cereal. So, you tracked me down just to gab about the mass market here? I am impressed. So if I wanted to watch this with you, or I've got it here, if you promise to go back. <coughs> Let's go with the first one. You actually have it? The episode where Lord Cavendish reveals he's been the mass marketeer all along? All right, you convinced me. I'll take my stuff and head on back, I suppose. Grace is going to be glaring knives at me. So I've got that to look forward to. Cool. Now, I think we can fast travel there. We can. So let's fast travel to town real quick. Let's go to the cannery. Let's try to find that extra book, and then we'll fast travel back to their little resistance base, and we'll determine how to how to get the power supply in a positive way. I might sneeze. Nope. Ugh. Almost, though. I got some bad congestion today, but I've been taking a lot of uh, nasal decongestant, which I need to really stop taking because um, I've taken it so much and so often that I've caused my own problems because of it. Not good, either. Anyways, I don't know where this other thing is. I think it's in an office, they said. So I guess what we should be looking for here is an unused office room. Hey, Paul. I uh, I decided to stream anyways because I was like, you know what? Nothing else is going on right now, and I want to be using my time. Just the last two days, I didn't get to do anything fun because I was sick. So, I streamed anyways. How are you today? How is uh, personal hobbies and stuff going? You see? Yeah. <laughs> But it's going to be a short stream. We'll maybe be in this for like an hour and a half. Something uh, 
very basic today. Uh, I don't know if I already looted that, or if that's an explosive thing. Hmm. This is barred. Looks like you enter from there. Hmm. God, the game is so framey. It wasn't like this the first day either, which is weird. Like, and I feel like turning it down isn't going to yield any good results. Hmm. Well, what can you do? Also, I love how they just have, like, boxes of sprats that they're throwing into this grinder for their Saltuna. Literally did nothing. So they do the overwhelming amount of things you need to do and wanted to do. I feel it. That's, that's how it is sometimes, right? Sometimes you gotta take it easy. <laughs> mm. Just off screen is a handkerchief. Witness the sweet, sweet emo. <gasps> oh my god. I love it. That's a puffer fish, isn't it? Oh, hi. Shit is <laughs> too sweet. I like it. Uh, I don't know where this third one's gonna be. They said it was in an unused office, but like, all these offices seem used. <clears throat> So if I was in an unused office, in the cannery, where would I be? Hello. What is this game about though? Um, I call it Space Fallout. So, oops. You're a person that was cryogenically frozen to be awoken at a later date, and, um, the ship that had you on it, they had an accident and got drifted off course, and the company decided it was cheaper to just not deal with the fact that that happened, so they just left you to drift. Oh, hello. Wow, that was a nice little find. Um, and some guy running from the police was just like, hey, I'm going to unfreeze you. I'm going to thaw you out. I'm going to provide warmth to your cold body. So they did, and we were sent here for whatever reason, and now we got a f we um, accidentally landed on the man that we were supposed to help, killing him instantly. So we took over his identity, and now we've got to fix up his. Um, there's a bin right here. Oh, I reloaded it. Now we got to figure out how to repair the ship that he had, so that we can get off world and go do whatever we want. Um. This game has choices, so like, our task right now is to find a power core however we want. Now we could take it from this factory, wherever it is in this factory, and piss these people off quite a bit. But, we're trying to be the good guy. We're trying to help everybody. I guess. Um, and in this cannery was supposed to be... Um, a quest item, but I'm not seeing it. So if we look here, the Frightened Engineer. You found the first one in the community center, you found the second one in the cannery, you mentioned in her fa Oh, right! <coughs> yeah, he took a young spacer's guide in mechanical engineering into the cannery and left it in an unused office. But I'm not seeing it. There's only two offices in here. <coughs> I might cough a little. Sorry. I'm getting better, though. Somewhat. Um, we might have to try opening this thing. Yeah, let's just do it. Um, it wasn't in there, huh? 
<laughs> so I guess we haven't discovered all of the offices in here. I think maybe this is also part of the cannery. Maybe it's in the um, Reed's office. It's definitely not in these two. God, it is just like running like complete garbage. It's kind of annoying. Like, this game isn't really that demanding. I have a feeling this isn't going to help. I think it's just the, how the game runs, unfortunately. Yeah. No shame. I think I was looking for not personal value belonging to someone. Well, I gotta steal everything for sure. I gotta dance, by the way. Maybe there's mods that make this game run better. We need Reed's key. Um. Hey, Reed. I borrow your key. Something on your mind. Go ahead. Hmm. Are you taking around town? Look around it town lately. It is my job to keep two eyes on my town. I am the steward of this place, and this is my watch post. How long have you worked here? <clears throat> I'm trying to remember. Twenty-five years. Twenty-six. When you get to my age, the years just rush by. You stop counting altogether. I remember looking out this window and seeing the veil spread out from horizon to horizon. We were a sprawling town. We were booming. Why are they not now? Times change. People change. But the veil will always be here. Spacer's choice will always be here. Our work won't ever this end. Guy. I take comfort in that. Let me ask you something else. Go ahead. What makes you think it can convince these people to come back? That you are not one of us may work to your advantage. <laughs> Adelaide and her folk loathe the people of Edgewater, you see. I admit the fault was mine. I'm about as diplomatic as a bristling canid. I just hope Adelaide and her folk will see their way past my flaws and return to town. Don't blame yourself. The burden of leadership is responsibility. If my workers walked out on Edgewater, then I have failed them. Sounds like he's just saying yes, the talk. We have lost good workers to desertion. We have lost even more to plague. But it is why we must square plague. our shoulders and carry on. Let's ask him about that. Perception. You and Adelaide have a personal history? Losing Adelaide was the hardest. She was our only flavor specialist. When she Ooh. walked away... It's I no longer flavor town. Spacer's Choice Saltuna is renowned across the system for its quality flavors and additives. We used to sell citrus-flavored Saltuna in our heyday. Ever since Adelaide left, we have been reduced to selling unflavored and... <laughs> Spearmint-flavored tuna? Go ahead. Uh, let's have a word about this plague. Can we not? Talking about unpleasant things always gets my bile up. Uh, how long has it been happening? That I cannot say. There was no moment when the plagues began. Disease always lurks on the fringes of society, waiting to infect the idle and the lethargic. What? But in the last ten years, the plagues have become progressively worse. Maybe it's in the animals. Frequent. Medical 16. You should have developed an immunity after repeat exposure to a single strain of contagion. Corporate doesn't like us using the word. <clears throat> It encourages the imagination. I believe plague is a test. It is a test of our loyalty and our fortitude. And it is one we will see through to the end. Mm, you withhold medicine. If I had enough medicine to treat everyone who fell sick, I would. But I don't. I can't save everyone. So I have to choose. This can't be easy for you. It is not easy for me. And the moment it becomes easy is the moment I am no longer fit to serve. Spacer's choice is a family. 
and the survival of the family is more important than the survival of the individual. I should go. I'm going to guess that this room has the last book that we need. I kind of want to look it up, but I'm not going to. So I guess we'll skip this quest for now. We'll do, let's do one more look around. Make sure we're not blind. Because there is this whole under area, right? Only you. So this is like the break room, right? Hmm. Why is there a hunting rifle in here? That's not an office. I really don't think it's here. Quite a psychopathic look that fellow must have. Yeah, I don't think he's a good guy at all. I think he's um, quite on the other end of the spectrum. Um, maybe it's in here. I'm glad the people in here working don't mind me pointing a gun through their windows, by the way. Because that could be really troublesome, right? That's the bathroom. Let me go downstairs. There's just this one room that goes in a circle. If you wanted to, like, piss these guys off by stealing their uh, data, their power supply. This thing right here. Hmm. Query geothermal facility. Emerald Ale is powered by it. No! Ugh. I almost did that. I almost disabled that. Yikes. Hopefully nobody's mad at me. I mean, we haven't really done anything. Bear, here boy! Bear heard a sound outside and he's very mad. Do you want to hear, hear about the plague? He you know, stares into your soul. You are the plague. I saw plague and plague accessories. Also, I wonder, can we like ride on this thing to get over here? I don't think so, right? Because you can't jump that far in this game, I don't think. I can't even get on this rail, can I? Hmm. Well, maybe I can. No. Yeah, see, the game's still like, oop, still running pretty poorly. Oh well. Uh oh. Spacer's Choice found a flaw in you. Flaw tutorial. During your adventure, things may happen to your character that could trigger a flaw offer. Taking a flaw is optional, but doing so provides you with a perk. The choice is yours. Oh no. Stand still. Pretend you don't see him. He will leave soon with all our stuff. How often does this happen? Every Tuesday. We call it Psycho Tuesday. It fits on this planet because everybody here is kind of a little weird. Ooh, acrophobia. After repeatedly falling from great heights, you no longer function well when the ground is far beneath you. I don't get it. So we get a perk point if we take a negative one to all those stats. <clears throat> no. I don't like that. I don't know how the negative one would work, but like I'd rather not take the risk. So we're not gonna. Uh, but yeah, there's no other rooms in here we have to worry about. So like, acrophobia can spook whenever you jump. Wait, would that have only affected me when jumping? Oh, my buddy forgot his tablet in the house. I was like, what did he come in for? <laughs> Bork. 296 borks. Bear purple. Hmm. You can't even get in this building right here. And, the, like, I don't think this is a building back here either. No, it's not. Not an accessible one, I should say. Yeah, maybe I should have taken that perk point. I don't know. It's hard to say, right? Uh, 
Had a player that built an acrobatic assassin with acrophobia and paralyzing bear of blood. That sounds like a very interesting way to assassinate. Pretty much had to shoot and then like immediately turn around. But yeah, I don't know where this book is and I'm going to guess that. I hope I'm right. That we have to get through this next area with Reed to get it. Either that or I'm like actually blind. And also, I don't know how to go through this bar door. Loose lips, pink slips. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, man. Rat on somebody and get fired for it. What's the green? I don't know. Alright, we're back here. Yeah, see, it's it's the same exact frame rate. 30 to 40. Zoe says she fought her way out of a marauder camp with her own bare hands. Oh my god, that liar. Wait, did that complete the quest when I did that? No. Return the grace, that's right. These trees remind me of the ones from Slime Rancher. I guess we could turn up the textures because that's clearly not affecting the game. <coughs> Sorry. Hi, Grace. What is it? I should probably mute when I blow my nose. Hopefully, it's not too loud. We didn't always get along, but I'm glad to know she's safe. What happened anyway? She joined the Marauders. Zoe joined up with a band of marauders. Zoe. The same Zoe who doesn't know a barrel from a trigger. Oh my god. Well, I've heard stranger things. Stranger things. You pretty much did my job for me. Least I could do is pay you for your trouble. Yes, please. Let me know if I can do something for you. Shouldn't pay me. 8750 experience? What? Deserters are now friendly. Hell yes. <laughs> Excuse me. Alright, now... Let's finally talk to Adelaide. We held back from talking to her last time, so I didn't want to get that quest started. Also, I keep, I keep forgetting I can sprint. It must drive people nuts, I'm sorry. Um, Pravati, move. If you're hungry, there's meat turning on the spit outside. If you're bearing illness, find a place to lay your head down and I'll fetch you a poultice. Whatever your troubles with Edgewater, leave them at the gates and she seems nice. Here. Any questions, dear? Everybody on this planet so far looks kind of dry. You must be Adelaide. <clears throat> have been called that, among other things. Thumb, the, the hair in this game is kind of weird looking. But yes, Adelaide will do just <laughs> it looks like like a little bit worse than Skyrim here sometimes. But like, Farvati's hair looks great. You got such pretty trees in here. Why, thank you. You're Robert's girl, aren't you? Oh my God, is she an ant? I remember when you were but a sprout. Thomas speaks of you often. Are you staying long? You should try some of my tobacco tea. I brew it in an old spittoon, but it's been clean. Ew. Read something here to make peace with you. Thompson, you here on behalf of that cold-eyed reptile? Let's hear it. What's Reed's idea of peace then? Right, let's go with option. Two, Reed asks you to consider coming back to town. He's willing to make amends. Make amends? Spare me. <laughs> Only thing Reed knows how to make is a mess. <laughs> like everything else that comes out of Edgewater, that peace offering is canned. 
It's been claimed before or after the tobacco crafting. The spitting in is part of the flavor. Reed asked me to divert your power over to him. He mentioned a geothermal plant. Let's go with that one. He would do such a thing. Question is, why would you agree to his plan? I haven't. Your camp has a power regulator, and I need to repair my ship. Cannery's got a regulator. You want ship parts, you ought to rip them out of the cannery's guts and leave us be. If you're going down to the plant, you should divert power away from Edgewater and toward our end of the grid. Think about it. You'd be liberating an entire town from a lifetime of service to that odious cannery. Seems the sort of thing a hero would do. Yeah. Let's say I'll consider it. I trust <coughs> Tasty spitterette. <laughs> Something you need? No, I didn't mean to talk to you. Oh, Thomas seemed very fond of you. He's just interested in fixing stuff. He always used to follow me around, asking me to explain what I was doing. Like a puppy, kinda. I don't want to have to fight my way out of the cannery. The tool he was thinking with was definitely not a wrench. Oh my god. Uh, let's just say this boy is head over heels for you. She's polite. We don't want to make like weird sexual innuendo jokes with her. I'm just glad he's alive. That he's okay. I mean, when Mr. Thompson said he was fired, we all expected the worst. If he wants to learn about engineering, we should help him get those data pads he wants. I'd like to do that for him. Perception. I noticed she mentioned her dad a lot, but never your mother. Yes, you do. Hey, Bob. You mean she's dead? I don't rightly know. Wait, she doesn't know her mom's dead. another division of the space. You know, I'm vermintine a little bit. She worked in the Vale a few months, sorting the cannery computers. Her contract said any kids she had expect. Right, right. We already knew this. Is that normal? Right. Yeah, we already talked to her about her mama. Anything else I can do for you? This might sound strange, but I don't know where I am. When we first talked, talk, you assumed I'd come to live here. Uh, yeah, let's go with that. I am getting old, you know. These two lamps of mine are not as bright as they once were. Two you lamps. Oh, her eyes. For what you are. I don't imagine you get lots of visitors. My dear, we are all visitors in a momentary universe. Our lives flicker in and out like the guttering of a flame. Yes, yes, I am. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because I won't be on this for too, too much. Maybe half an hour longer. Short stream today. Why are you telling me all this? <laughs> Until your power cuts out anyway. Oh, my God. A little prattling never hurt anyone, dear. You might even catch a little sense if you listen close enough. In fact, everyone shows the thoughts that they're always part the of and that their blackness of the void behind it spooks you to the core. Armored core. Yeah, that's weird. This lady's like very... She seems very open, like, in about life. Hmm, let's say Reed's offering a good faith. You should consider it. If you think Reed does anything in good faith, then you are asking... We gotta try hard to, like, make this all work out, but I wonder if the game even lets you. Let's say you and Reed have a history. That's because Reed was my boss. I was the cannery's one and only flavor specialist. White said. chocolate saltuna. <laughs> Ew. <clears throat> you can always continue your way of life back in town. Wait, perception. There's always more. There's there's obviously more to that. My son worked in that cannery. When the plague started coming, he was one of the first to fall sick. Maybe we could find a way to cure the plague and make them both happy. Locked away. But Reed refused to treat him. Said my boy didn't deserve treatment. Said the wow. medicine would have been wasted on him. So I buried my boy in the cemetery, gathered my belongings, Ooh. and left. That's as much of the story as you need to hear. Oh boy. I'm guessing Reed has his own side of that story. I could not possibly care less if he does. Or well, God of Thetes is the right name for it. Your brain's not working today. I don't think Thetes is a word. <laughs> I thought you just meant thoughts. 
All right, leave conversation. I'm listening. This might sound strange, but I don't know where I am. That's not strange at all, dear. Few of us truly know where we are. The world can seem like a forest without end. And hmm. it is all too easy to lose one's way. But we must remember that being lost is the first step in discovering yourself. Okay. <clears throat> no, I mean, I actually don't know where I am. <laughs> We're not going to go with that one, but... Not the answer I was expecting, but you still cheered me up. Glad I could help, dear. A sadness of the heart brings sickness I feel like the plague body. is the big question here, right? Of like what we need right? to figure out. Ought to lay your head down if you're running fever. Hmm. Just trying to get my bearings. My pod landed not far from here. Yeah. Are you talking about an escape pod of some sort? Where did you say you were from? Does the hope ring any bells? Is that a new settlement of some kind? I haven't kept news from outside the veil. Uh, not exactly. It's a colony ship. Oh, you're talking about that old piece of folklore. Now I'm convinced you're delirious. Oh my god, lady. You really ought to lay your head down, dear. Babbling only agitates the humors. You ought to try some of my purgative tea. Won't cure I don't know about it, so it must not exist. Will distract you for a spell. You don't believe me? Maybe I do. I don't know. <coughs> Growing up, I heard my folks talking about the whole. Always believed it was just a story we told ourselves to keep our. I have drank a lot of water today. Listen, don't you worry about what I think. That's not important. Worry about what the board thinks of you going around talking about lost ships from decades past. I'm not afraid of the board. But the board may have reason to fear you. Those old ladies very sus, always pushing back her with her spit based products. <laughs> Why, I haven't done anything wrong. You carry on about coming here from another world, and people will talk. Talk leads to questions. Ask enough questions. And anger leads to hate. Comes answering. Let's talk about something else. I'm listening. I should go. <laughs> that was the only option I got. Hmm. So now we're at the option where we either divert power from one base to the other, or vice versa. I don't like the idea, honestly. Let's go do the die robot quest, I guess. Let's check for any more named NBCs here. But we'll go do die robot and see if maybe there's like a reason for the plague. We're gonna take our time. Hey, Zoe's back. Home is where the heart is. Marauders took that saying a little too literally. Um, before we try to finish off the main quest, I really want to see if the plague is like a curable like part of the game story or not. These people are really disorganized. Yeah, that's back to her. That's back to her. The, the house is empty. The house. What's in this house over here? Was this empty? Is my character related? Inigo Montoya? She, um... She's Mustachia, first of her name. She started off as an ice cube. And is now a bandit. The game's random generator for faces is pretty hilarious. <laughs> it's not far off from like how ugly my Elden Ring character was. Oh my god. Keep your wits about you, friend. I'd have to say I have a I have a knack for making characters in video games. These people probably aren't going to need all this stuff, so, like, I'm just going to borrow it. Um, excuse me, deserter. Don't sneak up on me like that. Bunch of nanners. Yummy. Did you see that deserter just, like, run up on me like they knew I was stealing from them? Like, you got no proof. You have no evidence. No, I just robbed that entire room of every belonging it had.
All right, so let's go back to Edgewater real quick. Let's see if anybody else has any other information on uh, on the plague. Well, actually, no, let's go do the robots thing first, sorry. We still have a level up we haven't used, but like I said, I don't really care to use, like, level up points or perks. But perks I care about. But level ups I don't care about until we've determined whether or not we we need to break a certain threshold with skill points. I think we're going to run right past a bunch of enemies when we go, go through here. I mean, it's kind of okay because you have part body to eat the punches. Hello. Imagine waking up, walking to your own house, see a dude kneeling inside your closet, pointing a gun at your belongings. And then he just, yeah, like, imagine he just closes the door on you. And you're like, what the hell? Oh my god, look at all this loot. I feel like this is a trap. You know what? It's a trap I'm willing to take. So my guess is that's the geothermal plant. Thank you game for proving that. Now, me have a very big idea. Me think me go around to other side. Now, me not sure if Robot can see through wall slots. Now, <clears throat> okay, first off, there's loot. We're gonna save before we break into this place, but then we won't save again until after we're done. Oh no! We can't even go from here, anyways. Uh... Damn it. We have to go back around. Or I guess we could just go up, right? And then go around that side. Eh, we'll just go around. Who cares? But I remember there being a side on the other end where you could jump into the base from the side wall. Security robot is legally blind. What are they going to do? Shoot me? I actually should pull out this gun. Now, there's probably more than one way to skin this cat. I'm assuming we're going through the security box right there. Um, seems like this place is very sneak friendly. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay. We're going to save, and now we got to do everything As is. Alright, I'm gonna break this shotgun down. We're gonna break this gun down. I'm gonna break you down. <laughs> they had a problem with dogs recently. I think there's a robot up here. Now, the other question, too, is are these robots going to piss each or, you know, scream when I shoot one of them? I fell. Also, also, how good are they at, like, detecting me? Let's get an eye for this area before we go. Oh, there was literally a spot right there to go under. Well, cool. Like I said, more ways to skin the cat. Ooh. Laboratory outfit. Outfit is designed mostly to resist stains, but it might incidentally resist damage. Um, that's pretty terrible. I don't think you could probably, like, use this kind of stuff for, um, camouflage, but we'll see. Her body, hurry. Oh my god. I'm assuming they can't see crouched, um, NPCs. When he turns around to patrol the other way, we're going to zap him. I don't know how well this is going to work, by the way. Okay. 
That went um, actually surprisingly well. And then I just noticed that this, this barrel is right here to blow up anyways. Hey look! A third way to get in. That I didn't even notice earlier. A toss ball card? Is that what that was? Toss ball card, Aaron Dubois. Control helmet. Ollie Ollie Oxen Free. Elite Hel Ooh. <clears throat> I think we just got an upgrade in armor. Let's see. So we're using nine right now, up to seventeen. <coughs> Excuse me. And the helmet has thirteen. Now we have seventeen there as well. <clears throat> Now, I want to keep hack in lockpick gear. I don't care about this thing. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of that. Handguns plus five. I mean, whatever. Hmm. We already have tech skills, right? Yeah, we do. Hacking plus seven. We already have that. Oh, but that's in pristine condition. Yeah. Let's see. So that's 13. What's Parvati's on my... Um, 9. Okay, we'll give it to Parvati. And get rid of this assault rifle. We got a bolter pistol at some point. I didn't even notice that. I'm holding a little bit. And then we're going to spend the, re the materials to hack this. I'm curious. Disarm security fences. Hmm. Logs. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, there's at least one or two robots that way. Oh, there's a sentry. Oh boy. Just be careful not to stand too close to these barrels in case we piss anybody off. But I think if we go slowly enough, we should be okay. There's at least <clears throat> three enemies right here. Parvati's gonna die in a second. Single player games with equipment durability is always big of too. Yeah, I'm not a fan of durability at all. I do agree with that. Because like, durability is usually one of those things that like starts off like a big frustration and later on just becomes a chore. Like it's very in my opinion, it's very hard for durability to stay consistently like good challenge. Kinda like hunger. And thirst gauges in games. Like, it's a good idea, but it eventually detracts from the play experience, usually. Because it just it just serves to slow you down. And, you know. I don't know. It's not the type of thing I want to be slowed down by. I'm slow enough. We know that. All these bear rolls. Now we don't know if everybody's out of the way or not, so we're gonna keep it slow. We're gonna keep it careful. Yeah, these security bots are not the best. I'm happy for that though. <coughs> because neither am I. 
Hmm, splash resistant military outfits. Oh, hi. All right, let's see. Let's sell our junk. We got a lot of crap on us, as always. A lot of salt tuna fillets. We have um, a lot of these. I don't think we have anything that I really care to like keep. Just we don't need that many Mr. Powers and Mr. Ouches, huh? Oh, these are all different. Okay, never mind. Okay. I need to start using these kits. There's no point in just hoarding them. It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's choice. <laughs> Alright. I think this qualifies as a save point. Now again, we're not trying to break um, the power plant. We're just trying to explore it for the other mission. Oh boy. Pneumatic piston. The taste of freedom, baby. Can't buy restricted stuff still. Would be really nice, though. Dialogue skills plus 5 and leadership skills plus 10. That is really nice. It's tempting. We'll think about it. Probably won't buy it, but we'll think about it. I mean, we're not here for the power core. So hold your horses. Oh boy. Let's raise hell. Not even a threat. Maybe we should feel bad for doing that. I don't know. They're just robots. I don't know if there's a time where I'm not going to, like, just, like, spam E on everything I see. It's kind of fun. Ooh. God, things cost so much to hack. Oh, hello. Um, revolver. Unlock off. Store. Please select five people to terminate. I'm not going to read these all because I don't want to ruin my throat. So the geothermal plant is more profitable than the cannery. Interesting. Anybody else heard us? Dang robots. Oh, we're on the other side. Okay. Right, always look into things because you never know if there's loot in them. Somebody purged the logs in this thing. Need to borrow a copy of the space young spacer's guide to mechanical engineering. Radio sputtering. I need the reference. I return the copy to the repair bay. Interesting. <laughs> Excuse me. Is there anything back here? Nice. 
I figure like if there's like spots, spaces jump both ways, and there's probably loot, you know. Mind your head. I do not perceive any monsters. Mm -hmm. Is this the room that determines the other side of the quest line, I wonder? It requires something to use this terminal. I wonder if a security robot dies by being shot at. I wonder how. Um, we kill its will to live by severing its electricity. I don't know, actually. It's kind of weird, yeah. Retrieve a logic module. Wait, is that this? I'm gonna, I'm gonna save because I don't want to screw anything up. Oh, okay, so this is the redirect power thing. Operating at 22% efficiency. Edgewater and Botanical. Structural damage detected. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, that probably is the structural damage, huh? Hmm. Will to live that exe has stopped working. Please restart the process immediately. Huh. This guy's will to live stopped. Look at him. He's taking a nap on the job. How lazy. No, nope, no, nope. transition to the Emerald Vale region. Alright, we've minded our head. <laughs> God damn it. Worker outfit. Ooh. Ugh. Seasons keep coming and not going. That's really expensive to hack. I don't know if this is worth opening. I'm gonna say no. But this place is kind of out of the way, right? Maybe we'll do it. Unlock door. Oh, we need a passcode. Oh my god. Here we go. Die robot. Does the quest run? Hmm. In the lockaway room. Does it write me? Mechanical's gone crazy, I like myself here. Gonna go to the control room. <clears throat> Every time I'm gonna press the wrong button. Uh Oh, we have the passcode. Okay. Now this is also tempting. I am kind of tempted to like, like abuse saving to open these. Oops. Um, I don't know. Local kleptomaniac outside of Rob's local power plant. The only witness is a rat. Yeah, the rat got away with it too. That's the sad part. Why does this feel like a boss room and like an old school shooter? <gasps> I think there's two enemies down here. Oh no, he's not gonna die in time. <laughs> this weapon is putting in the work right now. I'm wondering if that's just how this game is gonna be. Like, it wants you to use 
your elements correctly. I'm down with that, if so. Mr. Power. Hmm. I do want to play around with, like, the idea of having an elemental version of every machine gun, too. Just something that could put a lot of bullets down real quick. Mind of Falmer. <laughs> wonder if this game's got, like, Falmer types. Ooh. Okay, this is huge. <clears throat> Are there gonna be rabid ones? Oh god. Oh boy. Unexpected. Crap. There are three people in here. My people, I mean robots. Yes. <laughs> I bet you are, buddy. We're gonna let our gauge fill up. Well, this thing approaches. <laughs> Remember, we're hit and run. <coughs> so far, it looks like Dwemer ruins the Skyrim robots, dead bodies, and random machines doing random things. It feels that way. Here they come. Ah! There's no way somebody else didn't hear that. Whatever. What did I just do? I mean, probably nothing if it didn't break anything, right? I think we can move a little faster now. Oh my god, you have to be standing to loot. Alright, let's go in here. Okay. Were well, the robots doing surgery on each other? Because that's... Kind of interesting, I guess. Okay, that's a lot of ammo. Borrow a copy of the Young Spacer's Guide Mechanical Engineering. I think it's volume 3. I need something to read down in the pit. But where? Repair bay. Oh, right. So somebody else borrowed it now. God dang it. Okay. Logic module. Ah. You can't steal a crate while I'm in here. Literally unplayable. Disgusting. You know, I gotta, like, close the game now. Alt F4. Yeah, run away. Run away, coward. Okay, so interestingly enough, there are five enemies in that next area. In that room right there, there are five enemies. Six. Unless that's just counting the rest of the zone. No, 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 just leave me alone. Sorry. They asked nicely. Hacking skill too low. You need 70. <coughs> <coughs> wow. We'll go talk to Chester, I'm assuming is the guy down there that was just like, no, no, no. Also, we just got the thing we needed, huh? Uh... I shouldn't have picked that up so quickly. Yes! Wait. We can open a door somewhere in the facility. Nice. Oh, there's more loot right there. Mag to zap. Please don't shoot at me. This is a pretty, pretty deep little area. You acquired the thing, to put the thing into the thing. Into the thing of Earth. <laughs> Ooh, do we go down or do we go outside? Hmm. 
Okay, I think that just leads to the other half. <clears throat> Alright, let's save. We're not in combat. Look. <clears throat> I really hope this guy isn't going to shoot at us. Because I'd hate... I'd hate to have to, like, shoot him back, you know? I'm gonna hold on to that because I don't want you to use it against me. No, 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 just leave me alone. You're not real. You're not real. Oh my god. Get away from me, Phantom. Shoot. Scram. Um, he's scared. Calm down, I'm not going to hurt you. If we had 30 sneak, we could have lied to him. Ooh. You can talk? The Phantom's never talked before. <laughs> I knew I shouldn't have eaten that sprat. See? See, Higgins? This is why you must always boil your sprats before ingesting. Um, slow down and tell me what's Clearly going on. I mistook you for one of the phantoms of my imagination, which terrorized me on occasion. Chester D. Higgins. Oh, he's got the key. The D stands for definitely not insane. I use it as a reminder. We're shooting this guy. <laughs> Backs away slowly. I'll just be on my way. How long have we been, been down here? Hard to say. By my reckoning, Shoo, damn, need to get the F out of this place, right? Forever. Like, my recollection's hmm. a touch fuzzy these days. <coughs> uh huh, what exactly do you do here? Oh, Higgins has been many things over the years. Sprout oh no, is this guy Smeagol? Critic, Aetherwave personality, chairman of the board, galactic defender, sisty pig tycoon. What? <clears throat> come a long way for someone who started off as a simple engineer right here in oh, Look how smug he looks now. He's got that little face. He's like, yeah. You were an engineer? How have you been surviving this whole time? Let's ask what happened here. Mechanicals lost their bolts. Open fire on anything that moved. Maybe we can make Chester help us. And you weren't killed? Or that's better yet, yeah, that's that's horrible. How could this have happened? You mean why did the mechanicals go on a murderous rampage? Same reason any of us do, I suppose. The voices told him to do it. I was on cleaning duty at the time. My old boss had me scrubbing pipes when the killing Half like PTSD flashbacks. So, as usual, I missed out. He was scrubbing pipes as an engineer. Yeah. I specialized in auto mechanicals, drones, sentries. Repair, oh, the resonance cascade. Upgraded. <laughs> did it all from my old workroom, just over in the next section. <laughs> if you worked on them, you must know a way to stop them. <clears throat> Look, I don't want to fall into any trouble with the mechanicals. If they wise up to our plans, they will come for us with prodding irons. We're killing them pretty easily, so I mean. Persuade 20. I can deal with them. I made it this far, didn't I? See, exactly. You know, you remind me of myself back when I was an intergalactic adventurer. I think we need to raise our people skills a few more I points. I discovered a flaw. Their hostility levels were hardwired to maximum. There's no changing that, but you could rewrite their targeting protocol so they attack each other instead. Engineering 10. Mechanicals follow the behavior of their logic module. Someone tampered with it. Yes, that's exactly it. I see you're also versed in the noble art of mechanical engineering. So noble. There's a behavior oh control terminal in the other room. It should have options to change how the mechanicals act, including whom they shoot at. Oh, that reminds me. You'll need my passcode to access the behavior control terminal. Here, let me just write it down for you. Where can I find the logic module? Funny thing. I was working on a logic module just before the mayhem started. Security chief found me and confiscated the So it's in the security module. chief's room that he, his key gave us. Okay. Access to. Definitely start with the tail. If you're feeling adventurous, the ears are a particular delicacy. Forgot what you were gonna say? <laughs> Me too. Now, is he still gonna be scared? <gasps> the volume! Oh, I'm so happy I was wrong. Oh, wrong side of the ladder, <laughs> idiot. <laughs> All right, let's immediately go back up and make the enemies aggressive towards each other to save ourselves um, some durability on our weapons. Right here. Modify behavior. Select new mode. Oh, right, your... Alright, we're going to select new target, define intruders. Define intruders of spacer's choice on mechanicals. Is 
Ah, oh, look at them go. No, they're fighting each other. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Need to go now. Hope you get well soon. Thanks, Paul. I should be good by Friday. I feel like I'm getting better from today to yes, from yesterday to today, but I'm still abusing nasal decongestant. I really need to stop. This, I think it's doing damage. <laughs> Have a good night. <clears throat> now we're gonna go the other half. We're gonna wrap up this place and we're gonna call it a day. And then if Bob is still available for some ratsies with Blake, we shall rat it up. We're working away into Cataclysm as a group and knocking out Legend other than that at a good rate. Crap, I went too far down. Right, right, I'm going to put a couple points on the people skills because I noticed that we're just under the dialogue options for them. So I'll put two there, two more in Sneak. Our Sneak's lowered. Oh, the Elite Troop Armor hurts it, okay. Um, two tech. I guess we'll just do the two, 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 two thing again. Um, put another point in the dialogue. I like dialogue. That's just how I want this place to be, honestly. And uh, we'll see if it if it kind of ruins us in the end to have too much dialogue and not enough backing it up when it matters skills. <laughs> I'm going to assume it'll be okay. Right, we didn't have to go down at all. It was just literally right here. Okay, we should have the key for a door. We don't know which one. Um, not this one. Oh my god, the cost of going in this door. Wow. Wow, look at that. Like it looks like she's wearing a beanie from like this angle right here. Something you need? No dialogue options available. Okay. Um is that going to hurt us if it leaks on us? Yep. Okay. <laughs> okay. Luckily, the steam doesn't do much damage. That's a lot of steam. Um, shut off release valves. Oh, nice, because we had 20 engineering. See, I like having these extra skill points. A lot. And other things. Oh, this was just the other side of that door. Okay, so hacking or engineering would have done it. Workbench. So now we can modify our guns. So like we could take our hunting rifle, right? And we can either give it um, shock damage or plasma damage. Mm. <clears throat> plasma damage does, does seem kind of fun, doesn't it? We only have one of those, so that's not actually. Plus, we have a plasma gun right here, right? That is plasma. I don't know how to... No, well, it's energy. I don't know if that's what plasma is. Yeah, yeah, plasma bolts. Okay. We could also tinker. And make a gun stronger. I forgot we upgraded the hunting rifle last time we played. So no wonder it's doing more damage. Let's go up here, but don't forget that we need to still go down. Uh, I'm going to F5, because I don't know what these are doing. I think these were just turning on the power. I wonder if these are going to make it so the plant has enough power for both people to be happy. Okay, I think that's the last enemy in this room. I don't see any more dots. If we get over capacity, we'll just do, go and disassemble everything and honor our person. So we can see here the results of the robots kind of going crazy on all the people, as ordered by their uh, human overlords. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, we got a muzzle. A muzzle. Um, 
Well, whatever. Yeah, we got a gun muzzle. But we don't want our gun's barks to be noticed. What's up here? Just the other half of this, like, second floor. Yeah. And a barred door. Usually that means we found the end of the dungeon, right? Like Skyrim style. Bear's trying to do his pout thing. Hey, little guy. Oh, is this... Guess I should have noticed that, huh? Another bolter pistol. <clears throat> Weapon parts. Adreno, Adreno. Raw logic module. Cool. So we just finished uh, Die Robot and we finished the other mission. However, uh, yeah, I don't know what else we've done. So I think, I'm hoping it's just two, did we, oh that was like one of the first people. I'm assuming we've done everything we needed to do here. Um, we're back at the beginning. Let's go find that dude and talk to him now because I wonder if we can tell him that we, ooh, that we diverted the robots AI so that they shouldn't go after him anymore. Because how cool it would be if we could just be like, hey dude, um, we can leave. And he's just like, oh my god. And he just gives us a bunch of rewards, right? Like, it just showers us on, like, Kit Kat bars or something cool. I'm more of a Reese's Pieces guy myself, but, you know, makers can't be choosers. Hi. What's eating you? Uh, nothing. The tail. Uh, oh, okay. Well, it looks like... Okay. Looks like he has nothing. I guess technically we could kill this man right now and it would not change the outcome of the game. Also I have no idea how to tell whether there were more cores to like turn on or whatever those were when we hit the buttons and like the um, energy came through. I don't think that counts as diverting right? Let's see. Yeah we haven't redirected the power. I don't think we can fast travel from here, that's my guess. So we're just gonna leave the, the good old fashioned way. With our own two feet. Oh, we never went in the bathroom. Gyro site? This isn't the bathroom, this is a locker room. Nope. I really need to get that perk to be able to look into stuff because yeah, it's just um for how rarely you get pick hacking materials, I just don't get it. We turned you on, right? Yeah, these things. Well, I don't know what these things do. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, let's go turn on the two quests that we finished, and we'll call it there. Um, also, the armor we found. Wow, four, three. Oh my God. Okay. Breakdown. Yes. It is plus five to stealth, and it has a modification for armoring on it, apparently. No. 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 Oh, we've leveled? Wait, didn't we put those points in? Did I accidentally not save? Oops. Uh, X. I guess I probably, like, didn't save the points I put in earlier. Oops. Oh boy. The joys of being sick. Anyways. Um, there's apparently a hostel nearby. Let's take care of that. I know, look at us. Totally not me. Let's wait for our gauge to fill back up. We have 41 heals right now. 
Oh, we need to be careful. That's an explosive barrel right next to us. Okay, we're good. It is nice that, like, everything drops the materials to repair your gear. Also, like, that's... Was that always leaking? Uh-oh. <clears throat> Let's hope we didn't accidentally do a bad thing when we were trying to do a good one, am I right? So, one of the missions is here. It's that one guy that's trying to be smart for Parvati. And the other one's back in the other town. The crazy guy. Or one of the crazy guys. Um... Let's try on this. That was a fun little area. I think we had the right tools for the job, which helped us a lot. Also, I play like a total coward, and it may not be fun to watch, so I hope it's not too bad. Any luck finding one of those manuals? Yes, sir. You're lucky. No kidding. Really? Well, which one? <laughs> well, the elusive part three. The geothermal plant? Now that is just incredible. You really went exploring down there? I'm that good. Adelaide always told us it was swarming with Bob, hi, sorry. Animals. I had the other chat in the way. Hi, Pantopause, how are you? All three parts. Hey, Discord in front of the uh, chat for... Ever seen. Nice and pasted um, up. Aside from you, Ms. That was a lot of XP, by the way. I oh, my God. I'll do you proud. Ooh, we didn't do a proud. We can help, Thomas. I love the texture popping. Rude. <laughs> oh, how's things going, Pantopause? We're almost done, by the way. Today's a short stream because I'm trying to get better about being sick. Also, electrocharge surface. Um, hmm. What is electrocharge surface? Stuns and damages melee attackers. Yeah. Did you have a good day today? You just got home. Isn't it like 9 p.m. for you? Wait, 10 p.m., right? Were you at the hospital, or was that just all work? Work? Jeez. I worked today despite being sick, because I was just like, well, worst case, like, I'll, I'll just hang in there. <laughs> And then I had a couple of, like, short meetings, and I just didn't talk. <laughs> Everything worked out in the end, somehow. Um, interesting. Parvati gives us seven persuasion. Um, I feel like we're really starting to get up there. I think when we get to ranged... 50? I don't know how that works. When anything gets to 50, I think we can start individually raising it. Besides you being pregnant. I know! That's like a couple of weeks in, right? Is it in fact impacting your diet still? Well, I guess it would be, right? Get all those weird cravings. Oh man, our stealth is not looking good right now with this armor. I guess we probably shouldn't wear heavy armor when we don't need to, right? Um, how do I just like quick equip the... And then, yeah, boom. We'll swap back and forth. I don't know, you're telling you Twinkie Bun hot dogs are, are normal? Hmm. Do you push the hot dog through the Twinkie Bun, or do you just smash it through the Twinkie? <coughs> <coughs> I mean, that's no, like, I guess corn dogs are usually kind of sweet, right? Because it's like a pancake. Well, maybe not corn dogs specifically. No, they're not. The pancake, the breakfast corn dogs, right? Where it's like a piece of sausage wrapped in like a pancake. Cut the tinky, twinky part way through. I'd be down with that. It reminds me of those like those breakfast corn dogs. Mm. I could eat breakfast all the time. I feel like it just never gets boring. <laughs> Ooh, if we get to... <clears throat> Honestly, I think stealth's going to always get three points because I think that these three are super handy. Put the dog in it. Do you put any condiments on it at that point? Because I figure if it since it's sweet, any condiments would just be weird. Also, our tech skills, we need to we need to get these better. Although we have a really high engineering level with Parvati. Oh my god. Alright, let's go talk to the other dude. Maple syrup, spicy kibasa, and maple syrup. Okay, those are two very different condiments. Oh my god. 
Well, I mean, extra spicy kielbasa is a meat, but I like kielbasa. I like um, combining it in mashed potatoes and sometimes just straight up in spaghetti. Or like, we'll just like use the kielbasa and everything else. Oh crap! That guy was outside. Oh okay. Oh, he was, wasn't he? Go eat some gummy worms on your nachos. Ooh. That would be interesting. I don't know if I could do that. Something like super chewy and then something like super crunchy. Oh, we're going to break our ankles a little bit. Nope. We had a perk earlier tonight. I should have really figured it out if it only meant while jumping or not. But it didn't look that enticing anyways. It's weird that this game has like, like, oh no, something bad happened. Do you want to perk because of it? It's like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, today I had a bunch of Oreos. I shouldn't, but I did. And they tasted like extra sweet. It was weird. Half melty gummy worms, Tostito scoops, and Mexican punch cheese. Oh my god. I think I, my stomach would have a, a, a real, real problem with that. <laughs> oh, we got the logic module. You're a credit to your uniform. Oh, that reminds me. Gotta look into getting us a uniform. Oh yeah, we, we lied to this guy that we're part of the resistance. The key to humanity's victory over the mechanical... That, again, there's a lot of XP. I would reward you with the gratitude of the resistance, but... I'm guessing you want something tactile. I do. So here's a couple of bits for your trouble. And a little... Spacer's choice are now revering. I wonder if that changes... Shock stick and bit cartridge size 500. I wonder if that changes what we can do with Reed. <clears throat> He's having a hard time... Getting across that wall. Oh my god. All right, while he's not around, let's go ahead and um, borrow his stuff. No, Parfani! It's like she's trying to get me caught stealing or something, you know what I mean? Like, what the hell? <laughs> All right, we're going to save here. Damn, we are not very much on the seven. Oh, and bread. Bread and butter pickle chips with peanut butter. That's also something I wouldn't try. I never liked bread and butter pick, uh, pickle chips. My girlfriend loves them. I've always been more like the dill ones, specifically. I'm trying to think of like the weirdest thing I eat, but I don't eat that many things, really. Uh, yeah, I can't think of like anything weird that I eat. Damn. Allergic to dill, so no. Aww. Dill is a really good flavoring, too. That sucks. What about, like, spicy food? Well, you like spicy food, it seems, so. Hell yeah. Also, we're gonna stop here. Um, but we'll be back on Friday for more, for sure. Um. Ooh. I definitely feel like I'm getting better. I don't feel weak today. Like, yesterday I just kind of felt under the weather, but today I feel pretty good. Tomorrow I might actually... Go back to exercise, too, which would be nice. I don't like missing days. The baby's in you. don't want spicy today. Oh, I was say, yeah, you don't want that coming back up. <laughs> Excuse me. But, um, we will be back Friday. <clears throat> Hopefully we're, like, so Friday's goal, by the way, we're going to get off Edgewater. I think. Too late. Already did. Oh, no. They want fruity stuff. Ooh. I will say, get like a fruit roll up and like wrap some gushers in it and eat that. That sounds tasty. Although it's like sticks to your teeth so badly. All right, blow my nose. Ugh. Ugh. Never had any of those. They're um fruit snacks. Zero good for you, but very tasty. Ooh. Um, uh, well. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Sorry again, I know this is a bit of a short one today. But I'm happy we got to do this. You'll have to stay tuned on for Friday, Panther Pause. We'll be doing a lot more. I think we'll be doing a good three hours on Friday. 
we're gonna we're gonna make some progress and we're, we're either gonna make everybody happy or we're gonna ruin one of these factions' days really badly. I'm not sure yet. Got a minute to the button. Yeah, yeah. Glad you got to stop by. It's always nice to see you. Hope things go well for you. Hope we get some rest tonight and, you know, tomorrow goes well for you. And, yeah, don't worry. We'll be back Friday for sure. Nothing's gonna stop us. So stay tuned until then. We'll see you next time. Take care.